So, um, how, how does it affect your social life in a way? I mean, you're 30% raw, that's not uh, a great starting, deal. Starting, yeah. <laughs> but does it affect any part of your life? Or? Yeah, I think, I think the choices you make, um, I think it affects it. Uh, one way it affects it socially is where you tend to um, you relate to people that uh, to other raw foodists or people that are just maybe not raw foodists but a little bit more conscious about what they're eating and where their food comes from. I know I know one of the things about raw food is they use a lot of really fresh ingredients and local ingredients, and that's one of the special things about about being a raw foodist is that you really are connecting more to the community and, and to to the local. We're always around here. Your friends are still your friends, like... <laughs> <laughs> so they, far, yeah. Do they have to adjust to your eating um, habits? No, or, family, you know, your family does. You, my, my family comes from a big meat-eating oh. uh, Hispanic background, so for them it's a lot more challenging okay. than, than anyone else. Cool. <laughs>